happy Father's Day. It's Father's Day today, and the sermon preached today was entitled Not Many Fathers, taken from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 14 to 16. But verse 15 actually says, For though you have 10,000 instructors in Christ, um, ye have not yet many, fa many fathers. For in Christ Jesus I have begotten you through the gospel. Because Apostle Paul actually write to the church of Corinth uh, because of the way they were going was wrong and he writes to them to bring them into alignment into the right path. Because Corinth church was uh, the most carnal, um, although uh, charismatic, gifted, but they are very immature and not spiritual. So the Gentiles actually knows nothing about this, but rather the Corinthians actually became the epitome of this. So the Corinthians uh, didn't understand the word of God, and as a result of this, many false uh, teachers actually rose up. So the purpose is to divide the church by influencing the people with their doctrines and with their teaching. So Apostle Paul actually writes um, to the Corinthians um, to, to give them warning and to beseech them um, of this act. So I also heard from the sermon that uh, the role of the father in the house and in the church is very critical because uh, we uh, it's also specify the very first family that God made. Yeah, the devil tried to uh, he, he took the man out of this out of the scenario, and then he seduced, he seduced uh, the, the woman um, so that we lose the blessing of God. So he's trying as much as possible to cripple the house, to cripple the church. But uh, the, the the Lord has put strength in man. So in man, in the house, man represents God. And um, I also heard from that uh, sermon that it's very important to be wary of who you associate yourself with because uh, you are the sum of, uh, of who you actually associate yourself and to be mindful of that. So there are, a lot of, uh, there are a lot of things that I actually learned from that. But if you haven't li listened to it, I will encourage you to go in, listen to this sermon and you now remain the same again and I'll catch up with you next time. Remain blessed. Bye-bye.